I've come across to this website test dome and we're going to run a quick practice Microsoft Excel test. So we've got 43 minutes to complete it. Hopefully we'll do it in quicker than that. Um, and that's fine. We've got Microsoft Excel installed. Otherwise you can use the online version. Okay, let's go to the test. Okay, so 10 minutes for this question. So what we've got here is our net price, our tax percentage for both New York and San Francisco. We should be able to do equals our base price times one plus the New York rate, 4286. So we should be able to pull that across to here because that's still now referencing the same net price but with a San Francisco rate and drag these down. So that should be everything populated. So let's just do a quick check over here. So you've got your net price, you've got your tax, and then you've got your including tax price. So for the first example, we've got a net price of 39. Our price including tax is 42.86. So therefore the tax element is three pounds 86 now that tax element should be three pound 86 divided by this which is your 9.90 percent for new york so i'm happy with the formulas so let's save this one this one and it's uploaded and now oh there you go everything's correct so we've passed that one it was just a simple formula and everything's correct. So let's move on to the next question. Your company's accounting department has asked you to give them a list of orders filtered by two periods of time. On sheet one, they need orders spanning a two month period, starting from the 1st of July, 2018 and stretching through to the end of August. So all of July, all of August. On sheet two, they need all orders for the period before the 1st of July, 2018, and all orders after a period of 28, uh, 31st of August, 2018. Okay, so this is our data here. So this is sheet one. We can just put a filter onto our headings here. So this is the one where we just need two, two month periods. So July and August only. Hopefully, yep, it's all in the correct time series. So we just need July and August. That's it. Okay, and over on this one here, here we need everything excluding July and August. So excluding July and August, so let's save that one. Okay, that's quite a simple one. Save that and let's upload it. What happens to the result? Hopefully we've got that correct. Yep, all correct. So it's just a simple filtering on that one. Next question. 22 minutes, whoa, it's a bit of a beast. Question three, you have been asked to create a column chart and need to make it look the same as a chart provided below. Okay, your task is to download this, okay, the file, use your spreadsheet knowledge to create the chart shown here. You should attempt to recreate this chart by using any column colors you want, but be sure to create a clustered column chart, set up the horizontal axes, categories, and remove the horizontal grid lines to match the image, adjust the vertical axis scale, and remove vertical grid lines to match the image, add a chart title, vertical axis title, and legend that match those displayed in the image above. Ensure your data series are all in the correct order. Okay, and then upload that one, okay. So let's create the chart first. So they want a clustered column chart. So that's basically this one here. Okay, so the order is north, south, east, west. That's the same order that they've got over here. Okay, so we've created a clustered column chart. So step two, set up the horizontal axes, categories, and remove the horizontal grid lines. Should be able to just click on these grid lines. Let's clear those out. Click on the legend options and move that to the top. So that's okay there. We can change the chart title as well. So that needs to be sales comp 
comparison. Add in a title over here as well, the axis title. Vertical, so that is called sales, all in caps. Let's to put a line across uh, down here and across here. So that's going to be on these axes. So we need it on here, a solid line. Yep, that one there. I think I'm not sure if it's blue, it doesn't really matter because we're not fussed about the colors. Solid line on here. Okay, so I think they're okay. Next, I think we should. If there's a gap between each of these class, each of these columns, so we need to reduce that gap as well. Our series option. So this is a series overlap. So if we take that down to zero, that should now push those both together. Perfect. So the gap width is actually the gap width between these two, like the south and east. So that's fine to leave that as is. I think we're almost there, are we? What else do we have to do? Chart title, vertical axis title, legend that matches those displayed in the image above. Let's just double check. So create a, create a cluster column chart, yep. Set up for horizontal axis categories, yep. And remove horizontal grid lines to match the image, correct. Adjust the vertical axis uh, scale. So we haven't done that yet. So that's scale is here so that's actually going from 200 to 280 okay so 200 to 280 just vertical axis go and remove vertical grid lines to match but yep add a chart title vertical axis title and legend that match those displayed in the image. Correct, that's all done. Ensure your data series are in the correct order. So we've got north, south, east, and west. Can have another quick scan. I think that is everything. With 16 minutes remaining. Uh, let's put it in a similar place where they had it. I don't know if that will make any difference. Save, and let's upload that. Okay, we've passed. Everything is correct. Submit and finish. There you go, guys. I hope that helped for anyone that's looking to do any Excel tests. 